What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I want to give a shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. The Hollow King, Chris Gambrell, Mr. Play Beautiful, Beaver Gaming 64, Wildcat, Mark, Lord of Electricity, Matthew Valente, Betas Bandicoot, Nightwolf 37, Vocaloider 97, Septimius Arcturus Archer, Matt E, Phantom Knight, Geno, Heidi Markham, Zooksers, Roadrunner Run TV, Kevin, by the way, I'm a girl, Anene, David, Diablo 2604, Haley Mitchell, Joseph Allen, Lix Productions, Alan Barty, Ashley White, Sleepless, Mr. I Like Spam, and Magnum 123. And I'd also like to give a big shout out to our executive producers, Joshua Fix, The Gimster 101, and Bevan Brummett. Thank you all very much for your support. If you want to become a YouTube member, click the join button, which is down by the subscribe button down below. And if you want to become a Patreon supporter, feel free to click the link down below in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. That is not going to help them. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not sure how we're going to be able to... They took away this man's gun recently. <laughs> Hell of a boss! Episode 4, Cherub. Yay! Yay! Uh, hopefully this isn't like Cherub Rock by the by the Smashing Pumpkins. That's an okay song. That's all right. It's not my favorite by them, but this is all right. What's your favorite Smashing Pumpkins song? Uh, I don't know. I'd still probably say Rat in a Cage. There's one that I like a lot that I always forget the name of. Is it uh, 1979? Maybe. Is the one that goes... Oh gosh! I figure it out now. I start. I started him on the journey. Might have to cut this part out of the video. Okay. Well, well. Here's the thing. If we have to cut the music out, I'll cut it out. So this is a little timestamp, just in case. So. No. 1970. That's one of my favorite ones. It's like a. It's like a song about memories. I, I like it a lot. Rat in a Cage, I love a lot. Uh, God. So many, like, good songs by friggin' Rat... Uh, by the, uh, uh... By the Smashing Pumpkins. As a matter of fact... Let's see... Yeah. I like that one. I always forget the name of it because it's a weird word. I don't actually know what it means. <laughs> so I'm seeing here, basically the original group is pretty much all back together, save for the uh, original bassist. Uh, yeah, because Eha Chamberlain, uh, except for the drum or the. Uh, let's see, yeah. Oh no, no, no. Darcy uh, uh, Retsky uh, is not back. Yeah, she, I think when the band first originally broke up near 2000, she was just like, nah, I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> I think it's because she got married. Not sure. But, yeah, Smashing Pumpkins. What are you going to do? They're friggin' awesome. You know what else is friggin' awesome? Hell of a boss. And episode four is out now. A lot of people were telling us about this coming, uh, coming out, and we were just like, alright, let's see what happens. So here we are. Uh... And uh, let's get it up on screen, and let's see what happens. You ready? Let's go. This is basically 
basically the exact opposite of the immediate murder professionals. That's... Oh, this is gonna get ugly. Factory. I'm very desperate. <laughs> there you go. Oh, get on the roll, sir. Guys, do you feel that? Oh, shit. Is that a hell shake? That's possible. All right. Don't panic, Moxie. I'm not panicking because hell quakes don't happen. Stop getting hysterical, fatty. Do not be afraid. And please tell me you got that insurance thing. How are you and what do you want? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Not even a shit's length of time in hell and already plotting revenge. I can respect man with that sort of passion. I'm blitz. The O is silent. What? Oh! Oh, thank you. Now, what's the tea, sis? The tea! Guys, help! Yeah, why are we killing this guy? I mean, what did he do to you? God. He was <laughs> my business partner. You see, I was Oh, hell no! Don't listen! Violet is 
<laughs> the front door again. Better use the door. Shocking to me. Damn. Oh Lord, what are we now? Oh, let me perish. We're here to show you another thing life is worth living for. Childhood wonderment. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Written vermin. Their joy comes from innocence spoiled by the burdens of adulthood and their middle class existence. Don't. Simple don't you little bat. Oh. No. Not only that, but his shirt. Yes. And yes, we did. Yes, we did get gnomed. We got gnomed. That makes me physically ill. Damn it! That's fucked. You, uh, I would say you evil bastards, but that's what they exactly what they want me to say. You thoughtful. Individual, God, even trying to be nice is, is hurting me. I just hope the demon gang sets that Santa on fire. Yeah. Yeah, this place reeks of teenagers. Lovers, look out, sir. We're here to remind you about possibly life's greatest joy of all. Mommy. No. Love. love. I've never been in love before. I imagine it's quite nice. It's not too late, sir. You can still find... Ah, nice try, ugly. Hey, horny lovers, which one of you would fuck this old man? You know, you three are so utterly c c cruel. We're just trying to give hope to someone in need. Oh, and you three are so superior to us just because we want some selfish, greedy, authoritarian capitalist to keel over dead. <laughs> making things too real now, Moxie. <laughs> 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 Mox or damn it, Blitzo. Hey, he paid in advance, 
this, and I spent it all on this. So he's gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Go back. Was that a diamond encrusted pony? Fuck that fucker dead. Okay, and he paid in advance, and I spent it all on this. Yes, it is. <laughs> Marijuana. A, 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 a pony named Marijuana. <laughs> Jeweled stutter pony. Yep. That's... For half a second, I was like, wait, wait, wait. Is that a... Shit, I forgot its name. It's like... Oh, that's a stupid name. Like, oh, what does he end up naming it? It was something stupid. I don't know. Uh, butt, butt Stallion. Yeah, that's it. Butt Stallion. So he's gotta go. <laughs> yeah, all such Oh boy! Here we go! Damn! Oh god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> it's a whirlwind of death with Moxie and Millie in the middle. Space called. They want their lumber back. <laughs> Jesus. Bill freaking Lumberg is an angel. Of course he'd go to heaven. We can do. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. 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 Oh. No. Mom didn't mean to. We never. It was all. Anyway, sorry guys, but those are the rules. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the old man wanted to live again, and we didn't kill him, so we failed. Thanks to those fucking cherubs, he's probably up in heaven now, so... It's a shame. All our client wanted was eternal revenge on his business partner. And now the two are forever separated, and now we gotta face the fire of fucking up. Sir, when are you going to tell the client? Oh, I already sent him a text, and we're in good hands, because texts don't make people angry. Everyone, stop fucking up my 
my walls. Moxie's gonna have to fix all this shit. Oh. Now chill out, Moxie. If you kiss my ass any harder, you'll go right inside me. Satan's oh. balls. First we deal with heaven's table scraps, now this. I guess you can say you say you have a holy operation here, Blitzo. <laughs> Get out. Okay, so that was that was something. Uh, so Don Daryl Rivera as Cletus and Wally, Jaden Liberan as Colin, Viv as Ke- okay. I was looking at who all. I, okay, Maxwell Adams was in this. Mara Wilson was back. Shit, that's awesome. And Loop de Goopty was voiced by Brandon Rogers. Why am I not surprised? Of course, Brandon Rogers loves talking to himself. Jesus. So. Jesus. The. So, so that one started slower than the previous episode. It did, but it picked up and got pretty good. Oh my god! Like the uh, the fort, like nature. I mean, I've always said that nature is not kind. It's beautiful. I mean, whenever it's peaceful and serene, but when it gets ugly, it gets ugly. I mean, my band is named after a parasitic flatworm that infests a snail and makes it blind so that it sits out in the daylight and then it wiggles around inside of its eye stalks to make them look like caterpillars so a bird will come down and fucking eat it so it can reproduce in the bird's stomach. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, nature is a Luke scary bitch. Luke Paradoxum, if you want to look it up. Yeah, Paradoxium. Or the Luke... green banded brood sack. Yeah. Yeah, that's... If you've seen me wearing that shirt with the green logo on it, that's the name of Nick's band. Also, good luck spelling Leucochloridium. <laughs> Leucochloridium, really yeah. spelling stuff in a scientific name. Yeah, just... Yeah. Just look up the Green Banded Brood Sack. It'll be easy. Green Banded Brood Sack. B-R-O-O-D-S-A-C. And then there's Cordyceps, which is another terrifying uh, part of nature. You know... Yeah, they make ants go up on blades of grass. And it's not just ants, and... dude. It's caterpillars. It's grasshoppers they infect everything like everything in the insect kingdom if it ever jumps species to humanity well that's what the last of us based its uh, infection off of but god that would be terrifying um overall though yeah these uh you know <laughs> that part with nature i wonder if that's the part chad was talking about because chad him and nikki watched it earlier and if you want to see their reaction to it feel free to go to uh, they call me hat guy but Damn, that was absolutely. Yeah, he was talking to just, us about it before, and he's like, "There's a scene of like brutality that's like more than anything they've done so far." And I'm guessing that's what he was talking. about. I'm guessing so too, because the rest of it was all right. The rest of it was like, in terms of brutality, it's like nothing we haven't seen before. But then it shows you like the levels of brutality with like nature, animals, humanity, the chainsaw, the. The chainsaw cutting off the arms, I was just like, oh, gosh. Not only that, but then he got impelled by a deer's antlers. Oh, yeah, so that too. I was like, how are you going to get he any got more deer than that? And he also get stabbed by a deer. He got deer shanked like a motherfucker. And then, of course, uh, there was the old man who, which, look, here's the thing. I do believe in capitalism, and I know a lot of people out there don't, but here's the thing about it. I think true unbridled capitalism with everyone having a fair shake is the best system. Although, unfortunately, what we have in this country now is corporate socialism, which is not the best thing. Not at all. And I think that, I think venture capitalists are, you know, you know, they, they try to make the world a better place. For instance, I know people shit on Elon Musk. I know a lot of people shit on Elon Musk, but in all honesty, uh, he's actually one of the first ones to say I'm not going to buy cobalt from uh, third world countries where kids don't use protection and develop cancer by the time they're 20. Uh, and he's also not really experimented on the poor. I know you could say, oh, well, he sends out unsafe Teslas and all that. 
There's been two reported accidents from Tesla's safe drive system, and outside of that, it's there's nothing that's happened. Consider that like, versus... That gets horribly dwarfed by, like, every other fucking car manufacturing brand just because of, like, driver error. Or exactly, and that's my point of it. And you see, I, I, there's problems I have with Elon Musk, it's basically but for the, the most part it's... trying to argue that, like, the uh, COVID vaccines are, like, killing people because, like, three or four people have had an allergic reaction. Well, people have more. People have had more allergic reactions to anesthesia than and flu vaccine, and than a flu vaccine. And don't get me wrong. Part of the problem with flu vaccines, I can't actually take a flu vaccine because they have eggs uh, as like. So there's a part of an egg that is like used in making those vaccines. Ah. So like. That's not good. It gives me a stomach ache to eat eggs. I still eat them all the time. Like if I have too many at a time. Like if usually if it's like a cake or something where there's like quite a few eggs in the cake it'll make and you I sick too much like it'll make me have a really bad stomach ache but like I definitely don't want eggs injected into my bloodstream well I'll say this if anything wait until the nasal spray comes out because the nasal spray I think will be the best option for you they're doing a nasal spray for the flu uh no for the uh for the COVID vaccine uh I didn't know they were doing that oh yeah uh they said it will be out potentially by May yeah I was just gonna go ahead and get the uh Johnson and Johnson because so far they haven't had like really any problems with it. No, but I mean, if you're worried about eggs being in it, then no, they don't have eggs. In the oh, they don't. The vaccines. Okay, it's just the flu. Okay, so that's why I can't get a flu vaccine. But, but okay, so the Johnson and Johnson one, you're gonna get. I'll probably get that one too. Uh, if anything, I'll wait for the nasal spray. I don't know. Because I mean, I have asthma. It's just it's a better idea for my personal health wise to go ahead and get a vaccine to hopefully reduce my chances of ending up with COVID because it could potentially kill me if I get it. So. Mm. Well, I'll know one thing. If you die, and I mean, as far as I can see, you you probably go to heaven. I mean, you're a decent enough person. You haven't hurt anybody. Talk to God every day, so hopefully he hears me. <laughs> Same. Uh, what do you mean I don't believe in God? I talk to him every day. Does he answer back? Yes. I think. <laughs> so, this was a good episode. I like this one pretty good. Not my favorite of the series so far. I'd still probably say the second episode still probably my favorite. I'd say this one is easily up. I'd say this one's up there with episode three is like probably my second or third favorite. Uh, I, I don't think know. the second... Well, no, I think the third is my favorite, probably, for sure. Third's your favorite? Yeah, the second one was probably my favorite until I saw the third. Well, I still... Uh, I still really like the pilot episode, too. Oh, the pilot's still still tremendous. So I would say first and third are still my favorites. Okay. So... I still like the well, show. No, there's the pi- well, no, no, there's the pilot, then there's the murder family, Lululand, the uh, beach. I was considering the murder family to be the second one. Okay, so... The second one after the pilot. Basically. Okay. First one after the pilot. So for you, so for you, English. the pilot. So for you, the Fucking pilot. English was confusing. Murder family and uh, are not so murder pilot, family, but the, Lululand. Yeah, Lululand. And, and uh, the beach episode. Yeah, the beach episode are probably my favorite so far. Hmm, that's fair. I think that I, th- I like the whole show. I like oh no, fun. dude! This show I'd still give an easily like nine out of even ten. Even the weaker episodes have still been funny. Oh yeah, it's dude. had value to them. So. Easily a nine out of ten. Easily. I mean. The one I would say, like, episode, uh, the, uh, not the Murder Family, but the Lululand episode, I would still say is probably my favorite by far. And Plus, this is just my style of thing. Like, I like the yeah. uh, ridiculously violent, like, and somewhat vulgar, like, dark humor. <laughs> like, it's just, I've always thought that was hilarious. Like, jokes about, like, old men hanging themselves and stuff. I know offend some people, but it doesn't fucking bother me. It's like, if you can't find the comedy in, like, all of the darkest places in the world, the world's just a fucking dark place. Yeah, I actually had someone uh, jump on me because, you know, I joked about, uh, about you know, someone who, is, someone who is mentally handicapped. It's just like, it's like, don't you know someone or have a family member who is mentally handicapped? I'm like, yeah. And guess what? They, they laugh. They, they laugh at their own, they laugh at themselves because, in all honesty... If they laugh at themselves, then no one else can make fun of them. I mean, that's kind of the point. I mean, that was... I mean, they're not, they're not like... They're not to the point where they can't do anything, but they're sort of like Forrest Gump. They're simple. They're not, they're not like, below the level where they need help to get through every day. 
he, they're just like I have family members who are simple. They they just like doing their rudimentary jobs and going home and watching watching sports. That's all they do. That's and I <laughs> I make fun of them all the time, and honestly, they laugh at it and they make fun of me for being fat. I mean, it's just how we fuck with each other. People don't have to have your sense of humor in order to like that. That's my whole point. There are people who say, you know, that's not funny. And I'm like, you don't have to find it funny. I don't have your sense of humor and you don't have mine. How about if I find something funny, it's funny. And if you have a problem with it, uh, consult this. That's all I got to say. When people are like, making jokes at the expense of others is like bullying. And it's like, that's not how it works when you're within a group of friends and you're all consensual. On. Exactly. There's if someone asks everyone context. else and then they're like, hey, that's fucked up. And everybody else says, "Oh man, my bad." Like you know, that's not bullying. You think you, you think know. Smitty, uh, Smitty, who is white, gets in trouble for making risque jokes that Grizzy, that you know, Grizzy in, in almost any other context would find fucked up, but instead with Smitty because he knows Smitty, he does. You know, he knows that Smitty doesn't mean any of it, and he's just having fun. And then Smitty cracks right back at him, saying, "Shut up, shut up, you white milk bag. What are you talking about?" And it just. Honestly, that was the thing is like we have like a group of friends and we like make fucked up jokes about each other all the time on Discord. Yeah. But like, like for example, one person was trying to like make jokes about another person, but he was making jokes specifically about that one person, and he was being more over the top with it than everybody else. And we told him to tone it down multiple times. He didn't stop. That's bullying. Yeah. If like, if you get to the point where people before. tell you to stop and you don't stop, then that's a problem. But if you do it and then people laugh. And then, and then the person who may have a problem confides in you and says, "Hey, don't make jokes like that anymore, man. It, it's kind of hurtful." Then stop, okay? That's it's that's like how if you it goes. roast a friend and they're fucking wheezing afterwards, you just made their day better, not worse. Like, yeah, like people call me fat all the time. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna you know, cry about it. I've been called fat my whole life, pretty much, at least since high school. But eh, well, that's a whole that's thing. why I just don't go make jokes about like people I don't know and shit either. No. Like, that's just kind of, like, mean-spirited and shit. And it's, like, fictional characters. It's not the same thing as making fun of, like, people in real life either, so... Yeah. Like... It's, like, people take fiction and stuff way too seriously. It's, like, oh, it's so offensive that they're making fun of, like, a handicapped character in the show. And it's, like, it's a fictional character, man. Yeah, it's and like also... they're not going out in real life and, like, being, like, hey, handicapped person, ha, 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 like, being an actual fucking dick. Like, and people accusing me of that, I'll just be like, yeah, here's the thing. My granddad was handicapped, and I helped him pretty much half of my life. So anyone out there who wants to talk shit and say, oh, you know, you're uh, you know, you're, you, you're insensitive to people who are handicapped. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Have you ever helped take care of someone who is handicapped? I have. I did for almost 10 years. You want to talk shit to me? You want to talk shit about how, you know, all that goes down? Go for it. But at the same time, don't assume the context on my behalf. Never assume the context on anyone else's behalf. That's not fair, and that's not right. No matter which way you try and fucking slice it. Anyway, this was it's hell of a boss. It's like wheelhouse nowadays, though, is assuming the context on everybody else's behalf. Yeah, that. welcome to the world. Welcome to 2021. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. This was Hell of a Boss, Season 1, Episode 4. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and hopefully we will see you in the next one. So until then, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you then, everyone. Peace out.